Welcome back to Woodland Hills, California, the CDC Tour Finals. I'm Colin Cosell. It is time for our second match of the day, so let's get to meet our competitors. He hails from Reynoldsburg, Ohio, and is our number 14 seed. Please give a warm welcome to Gordon Dixon. And hailing from Indiana, he's also known as the number three seed. You can call him Danny Lobby too, Danny Lobby Jr., or just Danny Lobby. So from Terre Haute, Indiana, we got Danny Lobby II, Lobby Jr., or Danny Lobby, his father, of course, the great Danny Lobby, who was backing him and supporting him all year. And boy, was it well worth it. And then, of course, the great Gordon Dixon, the number 14 seed from Reynoldsburg, Ohio. 45. Gordon with 21 points on the year. 100. Opens up with a 45 to Lobby's ton. Let's see how Dixon and answers that. Pulls off a 91. Lobby 2. Look at that fast throw. 135. Ton 35 scored. Two eighteen in his first couple rounds. 42. Gordon trying to get his groove going here. Scores a forty-two instead. Lobby eighty-five shot there. Kind of throws his dart like an NBA player shoots a free throw. Gordon with a much more uh, traditional throw pulls off a hundred there. Lobby. 60. Scores a 60 right there. At 23 years old, and is our number three seed behind Chris White and Larry Butler. Dixon leaves himself an out. Lobby scores a 51 there, leaves himself 70. Gordon with a shot here. He's got a shot in and out. But not going to get it there. Ninety six scored there. Lobby six scored. He's in the 64. Goes for double bowl. Lobs it in, 21, 27 scored there. Dixon, 68, looking to take the first leg. 12 scored, 56. He's going for double 18. And he just 32. missed outside. Lobby, double top, goes for 10 and he gets it. My goodness, it is rapid fire with him. You want to talk about a man who knows his outs. He is standing way in left field when he throws and just lobs it in there willy-nilly, no problem. 100. It, and it's, it's an effective way of shooting. It's unbelievable to watch. I can't even tie my shoes as fast as he throws those darts. Gordon Dixon 98. with a 98, showing a little bit of frustration down one leg, but only also down by two points. Dixon, 4.03 remaining. Scores a 39, 96 there for uh, Dixon. See, I'm trying to do the math as quickly as possible because I know I've got Danny Lobby up, and uh, you never know what he's going to do. Shot a uh, 44 there. Gordon falls into a one, definitely not happy with that dart. Trying to zero in on that trip 20, can't quite find it. 
the frustration definitely starting to show with him, but there's still a lot of darts to be thrown, and now Lauby scores a 59 right there, giving him 213 remaining. Dixon with 266 down, 1 nil to Lauby. And of course, Dixon was a, a CDC midseason finalist in 2015. Yeah. He was the Music City 501 champion for the White Mountain Singles Sweep 501 and Cricket. And he was a World Cup Finding team that. silver medalist and overall bronze medalist. Sponsored by Monster and L Style. It's an 85 right there, while the young Lauby, at 23 years old, sponsored by UTG and Vision Darts. 74. He's a Top Gun Level B ADO Youth National Champion and two-time PDC Youth World Qualifier. So he's someone we'll be keeping an eye on for quite some time, undoubtedly. Gordon Dixon. The 55 scored there. Lauby looking for double tops. It's single and falls into the double 15. That is a bust Dixon with a chance to notch it at one. That's why they say triples for show, doubles for dough. Let's see. 12 scored gives him 56. 36. He's trying for that double 18 again. Game shot. And this Third time he's one able to one. pull it out. Gordon. Dixon. Ties it up at one, and that's that's when it's one of those things where it's a matter of preference. Uh, preference. Back in the day, it would have been automatic. You go for the double sixteen. No, not anymore. Now it's all about what you want. And Gordon Dixon wants a ton eighty right now. He's one not going to get it. Guess a one two three. Lobby follows up with a ton forty. Now we're seeing some darts, ladies and gentlemen, notched at one apiece. Two completely different throwing styles, but two very similar results so far. Dixon at the line. Nearly missing the treble. And he gets a ton. So we've had nothing but tons here in the third leg. A race to seven. Lauby keeps the ton streak alive. Got a heck of a horse race right now. Dixon looked uh, frustrated at first. He's starting to zero in. Uh, an unfortunate 40. bounce out. Unlucky. Comes away with a 40 there. Our ton streak comes to an end. But Lauby now. First time I've actually seen him uh, stop for a second. 57 scored there for Lauby. Dixon. Trip 20. Trip 20, and he comes away with a ton 40. That gives him the narrow six-point lead, or 106 lead, rather, with Lauby up and a ton for Lauby. Now Dixon with a chance. 98 is his out. We know he loves a double 18, but he won't find a way to get there. He'll have to get the trip 19 to get an out, and he misses that, so he's just going to hope that Lauby... 38. Does not pull it out. 60 remaining for Dixon. Lauby at the line. Single 16. 88. He gets the 48. And he gets the out. A 104 out for Lauby. Legs to one. Danny Lauby, you are Probably the hardest thing for anyone who's an up-and-comer in darts or someone who plays darts even regularly in bars and not at this level, the hardest thing to do is to know your outs. And this young man knows his outs inside and out. Absolutely remarkable, the speed at which he does it. Opens up with a ton. Dixon follows. 39 so far. And he comes away with a 96. 96. Again, we've got another tight one to begin with. Lauby with a ton 40. 40. It's almost like watching Steph Curry shoot three-pointers. It's unbelievable with this young man. Dixon zeroing in. Oh, that one got away from him. You can tell by his countenance he is disappointed in those darts, and justifiably so now. Lobby, 41. 41. And that's the first time we've seen him look disappointed. Dixon with a chance to tighten this back up again. Down by a mere 123. 
That ton would be so beneficial. Oh, and his own 60. darts work against him. He comes up with a 60 still. A tight 63-point difference between the two. Lobby. Oh, 81. gets away from him. Starting to see a little more disappointment out of the young man. 81 scored there. Still has a chance at an out when he steps up to the line after Gordon. One of the action dads. 40 scored. 40. Another bounce out. You gotta wonder what those two darts that bounced out in this leg, what they would have counted as had they not fallen out. 59, 59. there for Lobby. Leaves him an 80, knowing full well he'll have another chance at an out with Gordon Dixon at the line. 243 remaining, just trying to set himself up for an out if he gets that opportunity. And 100, 100. scored. Daddy 1 of 43. Five. Back in the days of text messaging, that would be code for I love you. Double top? No. 60, 60 scored. And not text messaging. Those beepers. 143, man, I love you. Gordon Dixon, will he love the 143 out? Not with a single 20. And he goes 60. for the ton. Instead, comes away with a 60, 83 remaining. Lobby, two. And he pulls it out. The speed at which he does it. It's amazing, too. He's giving our production team fits. He's giving me fits. We don't know how to keep up with this young man. He is just so rapid fire. And such an unorthodox stance, but very effective and phenomenal math. Ton 40 for Gordon Dixon. Looks beleaguerly pleased. Lobby answers with a ton. Let's see if Dixon can keep it going. Down three legs to one to the young Lobby Jr., and since his father is going to be focusing a little bit more on his son, we can just go with him uh, being the one 82. and only Danny Lauby. Oh, and he comes away with a 123, does the young Lauby. Now Gordon Dixon, a cigar aficionado, and a longtime dart professional here in the United States. Comes away with a ton. 179 remaining for him. Lauby trying to keep up. 13. Comes away with a 13 there. Gordon Dixon with a really good chance to get back in the driver's seat of this game or to maintain the driver's seat, really. 117, 127 scored. Not what he was hoping for. Lobby answers with a ton of That is our first one of this match, leaving Lobby with 85. But Dixon needs a double 16. Double 8. Oh, and he narrowly misses it, leaving him with 8. Lobby with a chance. Double top. Oh, and he barely misses 65. that one. That first start just sailed right into the trip. 15. Gordon Dixon, double four. And he gets Dead it. Shot. Gordon Dixon first pulls start. it out Net and play. pulls it three within legs. one. Lobby now Get leads eight. three to two. Lobby to lead off. And he leads off with a ton, 35. <clears throat> Dixon at the line, down by one leg. 60. Gordon Dixon comes away with a 60. Danny Lauby using Cujo Custom 90% tungsten darts with L-style flights and shafts. 55. Comes away with a 55. Definitely disappointed after a ton 35. Gordon Dixon at the line, shooting his monster barrels with L-style L3 flights and carbon shafts. Disappointed with those darts. Justifiably so. Danny Lobby. 134. 134 scored for Lobby. Leaves him 177. Not down to an out. Dixon needs a ton 80 to get back into this. Not going to get it this round. 100.
Lobby just trying to set 59. himself up for an out. 59 scored there, leaves him 118. Gordon Dixon at the line, 316. Needs to set himself up for an out. That's a good start. That's not going to help him there. Ton scored for Dixon, 216 remaining. Lauby with a shot at an out. He knows he's got a chance here. He steps back, waits for a second. 58 scored, 60 remaining. You imagine he's going to go 20 double top, but not until Gordon Dixon takes care of this 216, tries to bring himself down to an out. Single, 20 scored. 40 leaves him 176. 60 scored, 16. 156. That does leave him to an out. But can Lauby pull this out? Single 20, double 20. Nope, double 10. And he pulls it out. One, two, three. I can't even get the words out before Lauby throws the darts out. Lauby now leads four legs to two over Gordon Dixon. They're going to take a quick break, as are we. Once again, Danny Lauby Jr., Danny Lauby 2, whatever you want to call him, he is the man who's leading four legs to two over Gordon Dixon. We'll be right back with the conclusion of this match, our second match of the day, the CDC Tour Championship. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the CDC Continental Cup Tour Finals Championship. This is our second match of the day. It is Gordon Dixon versus Danny Lauby 2, Jr., or just Lauby. I'm giving him every possible nickname, uh, but the one that you can definitely give him right now is the leader of this match. He is up four legs to do on Gordon Dixon as we head towards the conclusion. It is a race to seven. Gordon Dixon trying to get his legs underneath him, try to stop 16. the rapid fire success of Danny Lauby. 100. Lobs it in for a ton. Gordon Dixon, 441 remaining. Down by two legs. Fifty nine scored. The look of disappointment obvious there. I was watching Gordon shoot last night. He was having a friendly game with uh Geoff Miller. From cricket, and he was knocking down 19s like a madman. <coughs> Excuse me. 16. He's clearly frustrated with his darts right now. 78. An 88 scored there for Lauby. Dixon at the line. Finally finds that trip 20. Stays on that trip 20. 100. Praying for a ton 40. Comes away with a ton. 97. Lobby Jr. 97. 97 scored. He himself. 167. Gordon Dixon at the line. Trying to set himself up for an out. 44, 44 scored. That does not leave himself an out. Lauby with an out. Opportunity. 59. Scores a 59. 108 remaining. Gordon Dixon, no chance at an out here. Just trying to bring his score down. 58. The action dad with a 58 Danny score Lauby. there with his 21 gram darts. Danny Lauby at the line. 80. Tried to get 94. the double. 14 to drop. Just narrowly missed it. 14 remaining for him. Dixon with a shot to cut the lead to one. It's a 20. He's going to try to Shanghai it. Not that way. 60, 60 scored. Danny double Lauby. seven. For Lauby. Tries to walk it in. Seven. And he comes 16. away with a single seven. The dreaded result of the double seven. Single 20, double 20. Come on. Talks himself into it. Will it go? Oh, it goes 40. way south of where he wanted to go. Seven. 
Lauby. Three Big double shot. two, and Second he card. knocks Seven it legs, out. Five legs to two. Eight Takes legs. a commanding five to two lead over Gordon Good Stuff Dixon. Ton 40 to open for Lauby, who just seems to be in cruise control. His darts are rapid fire, and his face makes me wonder, hey, should he be even allowed in a bar? But yes, he's 23 years old. 76 for a Dixon there. Lauby with an 81, leaving himself 280. Dixon takes a second, trying to build up the intestinal fortitude to mount a comeback here. There's a trip 20. Just missed it. He's dropping downstairs and pulls out a beautiful round of darts, a ton 37, exactly what he needed right there to cut the lead to eight. But Lauby, just relentless, comes back with a ton, but not an out there. Gordon Dixon, 288. Could use a big ton 80 right now, and he knows it just outside. There's a trip 20. Gonna walk it into another one. Ah, oh, just 95. misses it. 95 scored. 193 remaining for him. Lauby just trying to get himself down to an out. Dixon will be doing the same ton. Lauby just needs double tops. Unbelievable darts from this young man, Gordon Dixon, the season veteran. 193 remaining. Hits a single 20. Drops downstairs. Single seven. Is that the straw that breaks the Dixon's back? 46, 46. scored, 147 remaining. Lobby three sh shots at and out. And he 20. misses, looking just as shocked as the rest of us. 20 remaining for Lobby. Dixon with a shot at an out. This could turn it all around for him. Single 19 scored. Single 20. He wants that triple. 57. Instead, he goes for the single 18. 57 leads him 90. Lobby lobs it in. His nickname should be Lobby. He just he lobs it in. I know that sounds corny, but work with me, people. He's young and doesn't have a nickname yet. Lobby, Lobby. Gordon Dixon. Down six to two. 57, 57 to open up. Lobby. Trip 20, trip 20. Ton 40 to open up. He senses blood in the water. Dixon starting to get a sense that this may be over. This may be the end of the road for his 2016 CDC tour. 58, 58. scored there. And there's a ton 80 for Lobby. Dixon. One hundred. With a ton there. Sixty. Lobby leaves himself with a 161, Dixon trying to set himself up for an out and not going to do it. Eighty-one, 81. scored. Lobby with a shot here. Not going to get it this round. Drops down, gets 99. 99 there, leaving himself with 62. Gordon Dixon just trying to leave himself for an, with an out if he gets the opportunity but it looks like that opportunity might be slipping away from him. 60 scored, 145 remaining if he has a shot. Lobby, let's see how he approaches the 62. Game shot. And he gets it. Trip 10, double 16, and that is it. Danny Lobby advances, taking down Gordon Dixon. Seven legs to two. It is high out. 104 scored a ton 80 on the night for on the uh, the match as well. Danny Lauby advances, and now we're going to get prepared to have a uh, post game interview with Danny Lauby Jr. after his dominating victory 
over the season veteran Gordon Dixon Lobby, the pride and joy of Terre Haute, Indiana. The man who takes absolutely no time between darts, knows his outs like nobody's business. We're going to get to know him a little bit better in just a moment. Danny Lobby Jr. comes away with the victory, and we'll have the post-game interview coming up in just a moment. Hi, Peter Satira, back here with you from the Dirty Bull in Woodland Hills, California, uh, talking to the winner of our second match, Danny Lauby. Danny, how are you doing? Doing great. How are you feeling? Doing great. Uh, talk, talk to us, uh, talk us through that match. Uh, you kind of got going early. I know you weren't. You, we talked about it before you got on camera. You weren't necessarily all that happy with the averages, but uh, but you got the job done. So, kind of yep. talk us through the match. How did it feel to you? Well, it felt like I was in a good rhythm. Uh, didn't score like I wanted to. Missed some outs, but. Um you know, he didn't play his best game, and uh, I just uh, did my best to take advantage of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, what, looking back, I mean, you, you had one leg where you did average over 100. That was your uh, your third leg. You averaged 100.2. I think you averaged 84, 81, 84. 84 for the match, I believe. Uh, but 100.2 in leg in leg three. Uh, that was the best leg by far. Uh, he ended up coming back and, and, and trying to get another leg in there. Uh, he got one in two two legs later. But uh, really, I mean, a 7-2 match like that, you got a guy who's obviously struggling. He's not not playing not playing his best darts. Um, do you feel like you're, you're, you're playing to his level? I mean, do you have to fight that? Tell, talk to me about what, what's going through your head there. Yeah, I tend to tend to play better when being pushed a little more. But, um, I mean, ultimately, I you know, stayed, in my, stayed in my own game and played my own game. And, you know, he just didn't play his best game, and I took advantage of it. And uh, you're warming up behind us. We've got John Park, Jesse Rivera. That's going to be a, a cracker. Be a match. That be a cracker of a match. Yeah, absolutely. Be a great match. Uh, anything else you'd like to, to share with the people back home? Your congratulations. I mean, you're through for tomorrow, which is which is the whole goal, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of love going back home. You know, uh, family, friends, my girlfriend, Joanna Evans. You know, her support means everything to me. But uh, wouldn't be here without all the support from back home. Hey, as long as you, as long as you bring that up, your dad uh, usually travels with you. He's, yeah. He's not here this time. He's um, Covering me back home, so he's covering, yeah, I'm covering sure he, yeah, he's I'm sure he's watching. So for sure. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, Danny's father is Dan Lobby Sr. Cujo, um, uh, definitely a, a well-known player in our game for many, many years. Uh, the torch has kind of uh, been passed to, to the son. So we certainly would like to um, to wish Cujo and Joanna well back home. Again, Danny, congratulations. Thank I'll get you. Through to the next round. We'll Thank see you, you tomorrow. Enjoy. Absolutely. Thank you.